Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Scytherian, and today we're looking at Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, the Ultimate Evil Edition, obviously, on the new console for the Xbox One. Now, I love all the versions I have of this game, and I love this one, too. Its biggest difference is this character, which has the ability to transmog and enchant items. Enchanting allows you to get rid of maybe one of the magical stats that didn't really work for your gear. Uh, you can re-roll it for a chance to have a better one, and transmog lets you change the appearance. As you see here, this is my character he's in pretty good gear but I don't like the looks of it so I want to change the way it looks and make it look a little bit more fitting with my play style or my vision for my demon hunter so I have a bunch of helmet options here you will get recipes when you make a character in the game you just get the books for the recipes so you don't have to worry about that but you do have to get to level or not level chapter 5 Level 5. Yeah, moron. Uh, you have to get to Chapter 5 to do the event where you meet the character, Miria, that does this. So it is a little while, but mostly this is something that you're going to want to use end game anyway. I mean, you aren't going to want to use it right away because you're going to be changing pieces of gear so much, why would it matter? But when you get to the end game and you've got that gear that isn't really going to get beat by anything, but, you know, it looks a particular way that you don't like, you can make it fit to what you need. As you see here, I am just completely modifying every piece I don't want or feel like doesn't match. I just change it to my heart's content, I pay a little bit of money. You can always undo your changes, and if your armor was dyed before you change it, you will maintain that color in the new item, so you don't have to worry about reusing it or losing dyes that you've used. So you can just go through all your options, pick what you want, have what you want, still have the stats and the character you want. As you see there, I look significantly more badass, or at least in my opinion. So now I'm ready to kick some sweet booty. Now this game is still the same visually as the other one, but the graphics are crisper, the textures are cleaner, and the shading and shadows are just a little bit deeper. It gives the whole thing a little bit more of an HD feel, and it obviously just looks a little bit better. Now the UI is also a huge update. As you see here on the center of the screen, I have that fuse timer that resets with each kill as I stack those kills. When that thing completely cleans out, I will get you know, more XP for the kills. And the more people I stack, the higher the XP bonus. So that's a nice little thing in the game to see that on the screen now. You can also get bonuses for destroying items and for initiating traps. These were all things you could do before in the other game, but I don't know that they gave you bonuses to speed or damage like they do now, which makes destroying everything in a scenario actually kind of useful to help you through fights like this one. I don't want to die. Bad fire bull thingy. So as you see here, the game plays the way it used to, but there are a lot of modifications to the UI, to the interface, to the abilities, to everything that makes it just a little bit different. You can still play. Why are there more bad guys? No, I killed the bad. Oh, damn it. You see there my ultimate ability that I got at level 61. All of those characters now having these new abilities, uh, or new ability, makes it just something different. Apparently not enough in this case. Goddamn bats. So yes, the game is sort of the same, but it's also very, very different. All of these little changes add up to a big difference in my opinion, but because they are little changes, it doesn't feel overwhelming. You don't feel like you're in a new game. You don't feel like you have to totally relearn. Uh, you just have to stay alive. Give me a potion. And again, the timers at the bottom, the clear indication of those timers you see there at the bottom screen, those circles going around the abilities, it's really easy to tell when they refresh. Right there, that totally saved my ass. And all of these new little enhancements to mechanics like bosses spawning off of bosses just keeps the butt pucker factor at a maximum, which I can vouch for right now, I am firmly puckered. So yes, I love the game. I am very impressed with it. I am glad that I bought it. If you love this game, it just feels better on the console in my opinion. It is great, especially since it has four player couch co-op, drop in, drop out co-op. Uh, and as soon as the servers are working, apparently, it'll be a lot better. That's one issue right now. But other than that, the game feels really, really good and I thoroughly enjoy it. And I am suggesting you get it if you like this game or any other inclination of it. Until next time, I am Scytherian saying, good game. I'll be telling stories about that for a while.